Today I'm going to talk about playing with pain. I was recently diagnosed with tendonitis in my left hand, particularly third digit, and it not only limited me greatly from playing for myself, but it was painful. So how do you play with pain? The answer is sometimes you don't. Sometimes you need to rest. And during this rest of almost a month and a half, I've been able to really look deep within myself and find what really matters. Life is hard enough. It sends us obstacles that take away our, our nearest, dearest loves. You need to find the time to recuperate and reset and reintroduce yourself back into the world, whether it's music or anything else. Now with cello, we are blessed to have Bach, to have given us beautiful, wonderful music. Six suites that really give us the human condition if you knew about his life at the time. I just finished playing 22 minutes nonstop of Bach, uh, suite number one, with my blindfold on. By the way, I wear these not to look cool, but to actually do that sometimes. I cover my eyes and completely give in to the music. And it has been not just something I've done today, but as you see right here, over a period of days. And finally today, I was able to play all of it through without a many mistakes, enough mistakes. It could always be better, but it's good enough for me. And it's also sort of testament to my return back to form. It's been a long time since I played the whole suite by memory, nonstop. And I have to say that's the first time I was able to do it successfully blindfolded. We always want to push ourselves to the next limit. I feel good. I feel a sense of success. We can let our bodies heal, but what happens when your heart is in trouble? What happens when your mind is corrupt by the problems with others? Reset. Put your blindfold on. Turn off the lights, whatever you do, but reset and take it back to the most original form of pleasure, which is music. It's a fantastic thing to do and you are blessed to play it. Offer you music to others. Doesn't matter if it's simple or complicated, long or short, out of tune or not. Sometimes people want to forget about their own despair and you are that musical offering to them. So I guess what I'm trying to tell you is playing with pain is not only waiting for it to recuperate if it's physical, changing fingerings and bowings if you need to when you're while you're playing. Sometimes you will have to have alternative fingerings. Shutting out the world, shutting out the negativity that hurts your heart and your soul. Or just sometimes you must embrace it and work through it and make it part of your performance. That's what it means to be a musician, to be organically creating something truly special that very little people in this world can do. You're blessed to have cello. I'm happy to be back. I'm happy to be your teacher. To all my students in my studio, thank you for keeping me afloat for all these months. We're going to get through this. We'll get you there, as I've been saying. We'll get each other there. Hope you have a blessed, wonderful day wherever you are in the world. If you want to subscribe, certainly do. But above all, thank you for joining us here on this channel as you travel along your own journey of music discovery.